Peter Milan, well batted. That was um, a tough day for batting, as we saw yesterday, but um, the first 50 of the match and one which you really had to work extremely hard for. Yeah, I think it's, it's quite a difficult wicket to get in on. Um, but yeah, it's just a hard graft and you've got to take what they give you, I think. So a couple of good partnerships, so hopefully we can continue doing that. And they didn't give you much? No, no, they bowled really well. They've got a couple of really good young bowlers and yeah, it was a good battle out there. How much pressure did it feel going out there today? I mean, 167 for eight, they obviously got to 225. In some ways not ideal, but also I guess, did that give some assurance to the batters? Look, maybe day two is going to be the best day to bat on this. Well, I was thinking uh, that it's, they seem to have a decent time this morning mm. against our bowlers. Um, so I was hoping it maybe played a bit easier. I think maybe the heavy roller also played a, played a role. So yeah, definitely it, it looked really difficult yesterday. Frustration with the light though. I'm sure you guys have got the, your eyes on what's happening with Glamorgan. Um, that they'll be trying to win, obviously, which means Middlesex need the maximum batting points to draw, which is obviously a long way away. So that also puts the pressure on the win. But I guess for the moment, you just got to take it session by session. Yeah, I think what this team's done really well so far this whole season, I think, um, especially since I've joined, is taking it session by session, not looking too far ahead, not really focusing on other results and controlling what we, what we can control, which is obviously batting out there and trying to get as much as we can. I haven't had much of a chance to have a catch up with you, but how much have you enjoyed the championship this year? At, Second 50 in the championship for you, and it's it's a tough going, isn't it? It's not, you know, it's Division Two cricket, which sometimes people wrongly look down on. I think, um, but there's no need to really. You've got an average of 48 in first class cricket, but it's a tough competition. Yeah, if I'd done a bit better, we could have caught up maybe earlier a bit more. <laughs> but um, no, I think that there's some really good cricketers around, um, and like you say, if, if the deck's a little bit spicy, it's it's definitely different than playing cricket in South Africa. It's a different technique, different way of going about it, different challenges. But it, it's something that I think as a, as a cricketer, it's only going to help you grow. Frustration tonight with the light, obviously. Yourself and Max were going nicely, but difficult for the umpires. The sun was out, you can play, the sun goes in, you've got to come off. Yeah, they've, they've got to be consistent. I think they did as well a job, as good a job as they really could. I mean, if, if it's dark, it's dark. Um, yeah, frustrating, but again, something we can't control. And hopefully tomorrow we'll get a bit more play in. Again, it's too early in the match to think about that, whether the weather intervenes more as the match goes on, but it's obviously a game where the onus is on Middlesex to, to progress it, be it with the bat and maximum batting points, which would be enough with a draw, or if maximum batting points are on, then Middlesex will at some point have to try and force the game. Yeah, I, I do think the way the pitch is playing, we're sort of looking at a draw as an outside uh, option. I think there will probably be a result in this game unless we lose a lot of time. So again, we, we're going to play what's in front of us, try and get a good first inning score, and then We've got a hell of a bowling group, so we'll let them do what they do. How about it? Good luck tomorrow. Thanks for the time.